Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping straight into the increase that they did with attributes back when they had that rework in March. They had a patch that came out talking about single attribute weapons and dual attribute weapons, because I've seen a lot of questions, and I've asked, you know, guys, what do you want to hear videos on? What do you want uh, me to kind of cover? And a lot of people asking about how the rapier, dexterity, and intelligence stack up. Is it worth going intelligence, having that flexibility, being able to go a fire staff or an ice gallant with it? Um, you know, what's the scaling like? So I'm going to go over that today, and we also see the rifle as well with dexterity intelligence spear with strength dexterity hatchet with strength dexterity rapier dexterity and intelligence like i said and that sword strength and dexterity as well so there is you know quite a bit of them there's a quite a bit of weapons that uh, are those dual attribute weapons that have a lot of flexibility but there also are a lot of single attribute weapons those include the warhammer great axe bow fire staff and the life staff all having you know those single attribute weapons uh, i do want to talk about this increase that they did a while back though the increased amount of damage scaling per attribute point invested they wanted players to invest in the appropriate attribute to use weapons efficiently so they reduced the base damage of weapons to account for the new attribute point increase they tuned constitution so that the percentage of increase in health is generally equal to the new damage increases i do want to note again guys this was old patch notes back in march these are still up to date in my opinion though i've you know tested most of this uh and these attributes for the most part, are still accurate. So adjusted the way dual attribute weapons scale to make them competitive with single attribute weapons and offer more build flexibility. Single attribute weapons still offer max weapon damage, but this will keep dual attribute weapons competitive. Single attribute weapons have only a primary attribute, and the way the single attribute scales is considered the baseline 1x. If we go down to the dual attribute weapons, this is where things get tricky and there is a bunch of flexibility. So the primary attribute listed first below scales scales at 0.9x compared to the single attribute weapons that are 1x. And then we also have the secondary attribute scaling at 0.65x compared to single attribute weapons. So you have the sword with strength as well as dexterity, strength being that, like I said, that 0.9x, dexterity being the 0.65x. Then you have the rapier uh, as dexterity intelligence, hatchet as strength and dexterity, spear as strength and dexterity, rifle as dexterity and intelligence. So the one I listed first, like I said, during those weapons on the dual attribute weapons are going to be the primary with 0.9 and then the secondary with 0.65. Like I said, when you go back to the Warhammer, Great Axe, Bow, Fire Staff, Life Staff, they only have those single attributes, so they get 1x. So hopefully that's not too confusing. I tried to kind of go slowly over that and uh, explain it to you guys, but I will link down below the uh, the patch notes, so if you guys want to look into it yourself, you kind of want to briefly understand it. It is on the, I believe at the you know top half of the patch notes, there's something called a tribute rework that they did a while back, and a lot of people are asking questions about it, and this gives you great understanding of to how the combat really works with the tributes playing a key role in how you want to build your specific build. So one thing to note as well is if you go through the armor, they talk about physical and elemental armor ratings now scale consistently across our really, you know, all armor classes. So this means that heavy armor now has the highest armor ratings for both physical and elemental damage, while light armor has the lowest. Each weight class of armor has three different types of armor distribution, physical, more physical protection, less elemental protection. They have elemental, more elemental protection, less physical protection, and then they have balance. So equal protection for both physical and elemental. The amount of armor that shields provide has been obviously reduced significantly since this patch. New damage mitigation bonus equals round shields 1.35%, Kite Shield 2.6%, and Tower Shield 5.2%. These mitigation bonuses scale down with higher base armor ratings. With light armor, these mitigation numbers would be reduced slightly. With heavy armor, they'd be cut by about 50%. So shields weight have been standardized across tiers because shields affect really equip load altogether. It was frustrating that a higher tier of the same type of shield could cause a player to go over their equipment load. That has been solved, like I said, with this update. So a lot of things have been solved in, you know, past past and this definitely balances quite a bit when it comes to weapons you know the fact that single attribute weapons do have that 1x so they're going to scale the best out of any weapon out there if you go bow and you go full dexterity you're going to have better scaling than you would if you went rifle or rapier and went full dexterity even though those are all three the primary attribute so you have to keep that in mind uh so like i said i hope this makes a lot of sense for you guys it definitely clears up some things that uh you know a lot of people had questions about and i just want to kind of cover how quickly uh 
I guess real quickly, how the uh, scaling really worked with secondaries as well. So 0.65, not a ton, but you have to remember there also are gems. And we've talked about those gems in the past. So there are gems that do scaling based on the highest uh, you know, intelligence. And uh, we've talked about those before as well. So I will actually have those pop up here on the screen as well. So you guys can read those quickly. Those gems are very, very solid. And you'll need them to do you know, maybe a rapier intelligence build. Um, you'll put it in your socket for the rapier and you'll be able to abuse that fire staff with the rapier or that ice gauntlet with the rapier as well as any other intelligence based weapon so there's a lot of options when building a lot of flexibility and that's why i love new world so much so if you guys want to watch more content regarding new world make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel turn notifications on and like the video i'll see you guys all on eternum